Chicago Bulls news, rumors, and overall thoughts related video. As most of you know, the Chicago Bulls have been playing pretty terrible as of late, and there's mostly more bad news on the horizon as it's been made official that Lonzo Ball is going to miss the rest of the season due to his meniscus, more specifically the bone bruise that's giving him discomfort when he tries to ram up his activity. So we're going to be without our arguably our best perimeter defender, unless you count Alex Caruso, who hasn't been playing well as of late. So I hope Lonzo Ball recovers completely and plays mostly the whole season next year, but that's debatable. And of course, the Bulls continue to play terrible. It's like this team doesn't have a game plan. They don't try to stop the other team's best player. And I don't know what the problem is. I don't know if it's... I think it's a combination of Billy Donovan isn't a good coach for this team and our big three, if you want to call them that, they don't work well as a combination. Um, Zach Levine is not a good defender. He's gotten better, but he's he's nowhere near any of the top defenders in the league or even the bottom top defenders of the league. Vucevic is very inconsistent, and as of late, he's looked pretty terrible. I think, ultimately, Vucevic does need to go. DeRozan, DeRozan is mostly consistent. He has a few bad games here and there, but I think DeRozan can deliver, but we need better players and better defensive players around him. Now, we did indeed clinch a playoff spot. We will be playing a series and not just the playing game. So that, I guess, is good news, but what's going to happen is we're going to get swept by whoever we play, whether it be the Celtics, whether it be the uh, Philadelphia 76ers or the Milwaukee Bucks or even the Heat. I don't know if the Heat can go down to play us right now, but in case we do end up playing one of those four teams, I suspect that this team is going to get swept unless we really change our game plan and change how we play uh, basketball with this current roster. Now, we have some people that are having nagging injuries. Now, Zach Levine has a knee issue. I don't know what percent he's at right now. Uh, obviously, that's going to have to get fixed in the offseason, but at this point, you need to shut down Zach Levine for at least the rest of the regular season because there's no point to play him. We already have the sixth seed, I think, clinched. Maybe we could get the fifth seed, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, Levine, give him rest. Don't let him play. I mean, you're just going to hurt him more. I'd rather have him hurt himself more in the playoffs than in the pointless games that are left in this regular season. Alex Caruso is dealing with back spasms, and he has not looked very good at all lately. So I think at this point, maybe you don't play him for the rest of the regular season to hopefully give him time to heal up and be more effective when he's out on the court. So that is very bad news. Um, our last game against the Celtics last night was beyond terrible. Now, I didn't watch the game. I just kept checking the score, and I was, I was not happy. At least the night before, they looked halfway decent at times against the Bucks, but last night, I mean, our big three, Vucevic, Levine, they didn't do much at all. Uh, I guess Vucevic technically did have a better game than he had against the Bucks, but it wasn't much better, and DeMar DeRozan didn't get a chance to go off last night. In fact, most of the game was garbage time, so I guess you had a few bright spots in, in garbage time, essentially, minutes, or minutes where the other team, the uh, I'm forgetting who they're playing now. Uh, the Celtics weren't really playing that hard defensively. So Tristan Thompson and Javante Green, if you want to say it, had decent games. But, I mean, when they have our best games, it's not saying much. So I'm not happy with how the Bulls have been playing. And maybe we just had too easy of a schedule early on in the season. And now we're playing all the tough teams, which we can't beat any of the tough teams. Uh, it's astounding what our record is zero wins against any of the top teams i don't know if there's ever been a playoff team that had this bad of a record against the good teams and i can't remember what the the top three teams or however many teams that are included in that but the bulls have not looked good at all and last night they literally had no effort at least at the bucks against the bucks they had a little bit of effort in the game so Again, I don't know what the problem is. I think Billy Donovan for this team isn't the best coach for this particular Bulls team. I suspect that we will retool in the offseason. I think Busevich has got to go. Uh, I think he's a good player at times, but 
We need some more consistency. Now, I don't know if the Bulls can somehow pull off a move to get DeAndre Ayton. That would be great. I think his offensive game is a little bit limited, though. But we need some defenders in the middle. Like, I almost want to put Vucevic on the bench and start Tristan Thompson. And maybe start Derek Jones Jr., Patrick Williams. And uh, I I don't know what lineup we could go with. I mean, without Lonzo Ball, it seems like this team has just fallen apart. And I don't think Lonzo Ball was that great. So, I don't know. But maybe Billy Donovan has got to go. And we trade Vucevic and try to get another center. And we trade Kobe White to try to get a more... In my opinion, Pat Williams or Patrick Williams or Pete Will, um, he might just be better suited for the small forward. In fact, since he's come back, which he has had some good games against the Bucks, he looked pretty good. Um, he looks smaller to me. I don't know if that's the case, but he looks—he doesn't look six seven. He looks more like six five or six six at the most to me. But I, maybe all of you see that uh, different. But I would want—I want, I want a, a good power forward. I don't know if this is the right guy for this team, but somebody like a Jay Crowder, a guy that can play defense, uh, that can shoot threes. And uh, we need somebody that can do very good on the perimeter because we do not play good on the perimeter. Now, as far as a big a center for this team, I don't know who will be able to get. Um, I don't know. And then you got to look at Lonzo Ball. Uh, due to his injury history, and I know this is kind of quick saying this, I mean, he's only been with us for uh, not even a full season yet, but do we try to move Lonzo Ball uh, if we can find the right deal for him? Because Ayo Dusumu has played, I wouldn't say he's played so well, but he's certainly played above and beyond the expectations for, what was he the 38th pick in the draft, the second round pick that he was? So, I don't know what you do at this point. Maybe you need to do all these moves. I don't know. But the Bulls are just playing terrible. And it doesn't look like they have a game plan at all when they play these teams. So those are my thoughts. I'm hoping somehow, some way we can do good. Maybe win another game in the regular season. And maybe win a game in the playoffs. But at this point... I would bet against that happening. So if you're a Bulls fan, I'm sorry this is mostly negative. At least we made the playoffs. Um, that's that's a bright, you know, I, I expected us to make the playoffs this year, though. So maybe, but when we started off so good, you know, like the expectations were getting higher. But I don't know. But if you're a Bulls fan and you like Chicago Bulls related content, and I know I haven't been doing much Bulls content lately. It's just, I don't know, these, these games and the way the teams played, it's not very motivating to do a video to complain about stuff, but that's what I'm doing. But if you are and you want to help me out with the YouTube algorithm, make sure you smash that like button. If you know anybody that wants to see this kind of stuff or if you want to share this on any of your social media platforms, please do so. Uh, don't forget to sound off in the comment section about what your thoughts are. What do the Bulls need to do? I mean, what moves make us an elite? Moves that are realistic. Moves that would most likely be accepted on both fronts. Does Billy Donovan need to go? Sound off about that stuff in the comment section. And then last, but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button. Subscribe to the channel. Join the team. Show your damn support and be a part of something special. And JDev will return.